Hello everyone, how are you today? I've got some paper and I've got some paper plates and textures and sticky tape and a pair of scissors. And we're going to make some different things today. So I'm going to take my first sheet of paper and fold it in half. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut up here. Wonder what that cuts for. Then I'm going to make a cut just here. Then from where that cut finishes, I'm going to go round shape like this into there. Then it's going to come out and it's going to make a round shape here. Do you know what I'm making? Can you guess? Then I'm going to fold a wing there and a wing there and I've made a butterfly. Do you like my butterfly? It's a bit boring. I need to decorate it a bit. So I'm going to take one of my textures and I'm going to do some patterns on my butterfly. Because butterflies and moths are very beautiful. So I'm doing a dotted butterfly. What do you think of my butterfly now? Does that look better? Okay, so I've made a butterfly that I'm putting over there. Then I'm going to take another piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half again. So here's my piece of paper. It's an old piece of paper, not a new piece. And I'm going to do a shape like that. Can you see my shape? And then I'm going to make it come all the way up here and all the way down there. Can you see what I've made? And I'm going to fold the bits of paper down like this and I've made a bird and the bird's flying through the air. I think my bird needs an eye so it can see where it's going, because that helps, you know. So I give it an eye there and an eye on the other side so it can see both ways. I think I'm going to leave my, my bird just white and gray so it's a bit like a seagull. Okay, so I'm going to put that bird down there. Now I've got a paper plate. I think I'll use the rest of the butterfly paper. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two shapes like this. What do you think these shapes could be? I'm going to stick them on to my paper plate. One is stuck on, get another bit of paper, bit of sticky tape, stick the other bit on. So now my paper plate has got these two ears on. Do you know what I'm drawing? I've got a black pen. I'm going to put a triangle shape in the middle and colour it black. What do you think that triangle might be? I'm going to draw some lines coming out. If you're guessing what I'm drawing it, I'm going to do some dots. And then I'm going to do two circles with little circles inside. Look, I've done a puppy dog. So I'm making birds and animals today. Do you know why I'm making birds and animals? It's all to do with this person. This person is St Francis of Assisi. And St Francis of Assisi is a saint who lived a long, long, long time ago, about 900 years ago. And St Francis of Assisi was very famous 
because he loved the church and the people, but he really, really loved all the animals and the birds. And a lot of the stories about St. Francis tell us that St. Francis could talk to the animals and the birds and they understood what he said. If you could talk to animals, what, which animal would you choose to be able to talk to? What would you say to that animal? And what would you want that animal to say back to you? I think I would really like to be able to talk to my dogs and really know that they were understanding me and I could understand them instead of just guessing. Because I love my dogs. Have you got pets that you love? Would you like them to be able to talk properly to you? So we have to thank God for St Francis and we always remember St Francis on the 4th of October. And this Sunday is the 4th of October, St Francis Day. And that's the day when we invite everybody to bring their animals or pictures of their animals to church so that we can bless them. So that's what we're doing at the cathedral. Do you think we'll get some cats or dogs or birds? What do you think will come to church tomorrow at 11.30? Well, it's been lovely talking to you today. I hope you stay safe and keep well. See you soon. Bye.